Hey everyone, what's going on? We are back in Linvac Tuchel. We are going to do the Airbaxes Prodigal Lugian quest. Now this quest picks up right where we left off after doing the Burr Recall quest. We're going to head all the way up top in the tower in Linvac Tuchel, and we're going to hand the royal summons that Oswent the Pale gave us to Lord Cressivus. He reads the summons, you suspect you see a small smirk flit across his fake face. I cannot speak of this here. There is a spy in my court and I fear for my life. You must meet with me in secret below. Use the chest here to access the chambers beneath Lindback Tuchel. I will meet you there. And you can use the lockbox and you'll get teleported inside. Similar dungeon to the one that we did for Burr Recall. However, it's now been repurposed. We're going to head in. There's Lord Cressivus. We'll talk to him. I think portals further into the dungeon then some guards spawn although he didn't move so i'm not sure what's up with that but it's okay oh there he goes we'll imperil and vuln the wall guardian of linvac tuchel oh man that rock hurt Now this quest is really not good to run with multiple people. I definitely recommend doing this solo because it can ruin or screw up the timers for the different things. Um, so you're really gonna wanna just do this by yourself. I don't think it's that difficult. Destroy the uh, wall and head into the trials. Oh boy. Um, probably just two Yakta stuff, right? A lot of Verindi. Yeah, definitely. Just two Yakta stuff. I do have a... Verindi Slayer Life Wand that I never remember that I have. There we go. Okay, so you'll kill all that stuff, and then on the altar you'll see pristine white Mattaker hide, which you're going to grab off the altar. Take the hide, and then we're going to use the altar, which opens the door. You notice some deep gouges in the stone. Verindi implements are scattered about, matted with blood and white fur. A massive white Mattaker hide. It appears pristine, almost as if it was removed from the creature by magic. That's messed up. Poor Baylor. Hey, we're going to head further in and there's going to be some more Lugians. Um, I don't know if we have to kill these. Work your way through the halls to enter the portal to the first trial. Trial of the arm. All right so we're going to head into this next dungeon and there's going to be a big boulder. I'm not sure if we can imperil this but we do have to destroy. No, you can. We do have to destroy this boulder. It's got like such a weird hitbox. Look how tall it is. I have no idea if that's correct, or... You have to, like, run up really close to it to hit it with missile weapons. Otherwise, you just shoot over the top of it. <clears throat> oh, and you can't use fast attacks. Alright, when you destroy it, a path is visible beneath it. You can head down. And you'll find the corpse of Flint, who I believe is the spy that Oswent told us was missing. We're gonna grab a file of Corzite from his corpse and a hidden note. Once you grab those two items, we can head further on. And we'll find Shadow of Cressivus, who we're going to try to kill. Bunch of Shadow Lugians spawn. And when Cressivus dies, the other Lugians die, which is super nice. I thought he dropped a corpse. But I guess not. And then we can head on to the Trial of the Mind. All right, we'll head down. And in the center is the Pillar of the Mine. To prove your clarity of mind, you must use the stones provided to make each bag contain one color, and you must use the remaining stones to balance the scales correctly. 
So then there's this with the scales on it. And then you get some information. Red stones weigh three stone. Yellow stones weigh two stone. White stones weigh one stone. You have three attempts to accomplish the task. You have five minutes to solve this puzzle. This puzzle, speak to me again when you believe that you have solved the puzzle. So there's three bags. This bag must contain one color and maintain its current weight in stone. And then the bucket must contain an equal number of any stones within it. You've got four red, three yellow, and two white stones. And let's see if we can figure this out. So to go ahead, we can use the bag. There are no red stones, one yellow stone, and one white stone. This bag contains one red, one yellow, one white. This one contains one red, two yellow, two white. We're going to grab all these off the floor. Hopefully I have pack space for it. You give bag of stones white stone. There are two white stones in this bag. You give bag of stones white stone. There are three white stones in this bag, and then it's going to give you a yellow stone. Okay, and then in the middle one, we're going to do... What did this one have? Okay, so we give it two yellow and a red pops out. Three yellow and a white pops out. And then this one, I think we just do the same thing with red. Now it's got three red stones and none of anything else. So this has three red, this has three yellow, and this has three white. The bucket must contain an equal number of any stones within it. So the scales must balance. You give bucket white stone. We're going to give this all three white stones. And then we're going to give it two yellow and a red. And then two yellow and two red to this one. Okay, and then we're going to use the pillar. You may continue to the trial of the heart. We can head through the door. There we go. Okay. So Shadow Crescivus will spawn again. Gonna kill him and some Verindi. Verindi die when he dies, and now you should be able to go in the Trial of the Heart. All right, in front of us is this Pillar of the Heart. We're going to use it. Return to me when you find that which Alugian treasures. And then down this hallway, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Granite. Crown of the First King. Chalice of Morkindimnity. What is that? Pyreal Bar. I wonder if this is a real Pyreal Bar. <laughs> I don't think so. Spear of Purity. Sack of Brass. Black Opal. Gauntlets of Power. More Salvage. Crest of Kings. Ulcra's Sword. Painting of the building of Lindak Tuchel. Bastion of Tuchel. Scepter of Might. Sack of Fire Opal. More Salvage. Helm of the Crag. There's so much cool stuff in here. Robes of Grey Dawn. I've never heard of that before. A robe woven with an image of silhouetted mountains with two suns rising behind them in the grey mists. That would be sweet if that was real. Cutter's Cup. And all the way at the end, Hammer of the Ages, Treasure, Corazite P. I don't know how you're supposed to know the answer of this, like, on your own. Besides just guessing, but the answer is this painting. You look at a painting of Lugin side by side next to a freshly built Lindvac Tuchel. A caption at the bottom reads, Only through hard work and friendship can we be truly great. I guess you could just try everything. A door to the east creaks open. So you use the painting, use the pillar, the door opens.
And here is Shadow Crescivus again. Summons just like absolutely destroy him. Kind of embarrassing. Energy Cage and Lord Crescivus. The real Lord Crescivus. So I'm just a little slow. So you have to hand the potion to him and then that should be it. I think you're supposed to talk to him, but it doesn't seem to matter. All right, so now we're at the end. We got the final Shadow Crescivus. Who is again, kind of a sad imitation of, oh man, don't, don't get hit by the energy crystal lightning when you uh, call them weak. All right, and then you're gonna loot a Sigil of Linvac Tuchel. And then you can just hit the Return to Linvac Tuchel portal. So in future runs, the only thing you have to do is that last fight and hand in the Sigil. Hand it in to Crescivus. Thank you for freeing me, Fel Seroth. I owe you a great deal. And you get... I don't know if he does he want this hidden note too. Doesn't know what to do with that. Powdered Corazite P is like one of the best rewards from this, which can be used to make the spell components for dispel gems or dispels that you cast on yourself. The first time you run it, you get 15,000 luminance on repeat runs because it's so easy. It's only 7,500 and 150 million experience. So it's actually a really good daily repeat quest. Um, and if you hand him Baylor's fur, he gets really sad, which it kind of is sad that they skinned his pet Mataker. Uh, he lets you keep the hide, which is pretty cool. And then we can take that, um, we can take the hide to Nadisa Castle and get a reward. In addition, we get the title Guardian of Linvac Tuchel. And if you have any pieces from the original Arm, Mind, and Heart quest, you can um, you can turn them in to be upgraded, which is super cool. Uh, you can do it. One item can be upgraded, I believe, each time you run the quest. So yeah, let's go to Nadis Castle. Here's Yiyo Jin. We'll hand over the pristine white Mataker hide. And you get Baylor's robe. AL 180 requires level 120 to wear. Highly recommend doing this so you can get the Corazite. It's the easiest way in the game to get Corazite on a daily basis. So that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.